Hi, welcome. I'm Marek Mularczyk from saitraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you something interesting with the Marquee Tool and Crop Tool. Let's start with the Marquee Tool. I want to crop this image and I just want to show the front part of this lens here to show that there are no scratches, for example, if I want to sell the lens. So I'm going to select the rectangular Marquee Tool. Okay. Then I'm going to click and drag, holding the mouse button down. I'm using Photoshop CS6 Beta, so one of the new things in Photoshop CS6 is the width and height showing next to the cursor. Now, I want to position it, so let me just show you what I want to select. I just want to select this area with the actual lens. So I say click and drag. I'm holding the mouse button down. If I want to reposition the marquee, I'll press and hold space bar on my keyboard. So I'll move the space bar. Okay, so it's aligning with these edges. Now I want to keep that. The right hand side and the bottom. Up to here. And I'll release the mouse button. Here's a couple of things I can do. Let's say I want to create an interesting effect with no background behind it outside the marquee and fade in nicely. So I can click Refine Edge button in the Options bar. Okay. I'm happy with the white background for now, but you can change the background. Okay, do anything you want. And here's something interesting you can do in here. If you smooth the edge, you're going to get the rounded corners. Very nice, very interesting effect. Okay, very nice. Also notice another interesting thing. I've got the edge detection, or well, the refine edge tool selected by default. Now if you start adding further, you're going to have the image fading into the background. Okay. Maybe even something like that. Something that used to be very popular in the past. And of course you can shift the edge. So you can either contract or expand the selection. Okay. So I'm going to leave the shift edge on zero. Quite happy with the effect. So output the selection, that's fine. I'll just press OK. So I've got these around the edges. Okay. And now let's say I decide, well, you know what, I actually want to crop this image. I want to crop it. I don't want to make a selection. I don't want to put it on a new layer. I just want to crop it just like that. With the marquee running, I'll click on the crop tool. So I get a crop around it. Okay. And now I can just crop it. I'll just press end on the keyboard and I'll press enter once again and the image is cropped. I did lose the feather that I was creating because I have just cropped the image. But this is a nice example when if you create a marquee and then you decide you want to crop the image, you can just select the crop tool, press enter twice on the keyboard, and here you go, you've got your selection cropped. The crop tool is now set to selection. Okay. okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk and from saitraining.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.